hors d'oeuvre to whet the appetite for the main course coming up after this of Johnny Haynes versus Terry Jenkins. How dare I say hors d'oeuvre with these two magnificent players, teammates. And they'll be joined by Daryl Fitton tomorrow. And like I said, imagine being a local league team in Stockport and them three walking plus Nathan Aspinall. That's not a bad local league team, was it? Imagine potentially seeing them on Saturday night. And you wouldn't have to pay a penny That's to see them. smart to throw first. Yeah, the crowd, a big crowd for Tony O'Shea, Mark McGinney, Daryl Fitton would be absolutely fantastic. You know what, Henry? Tickets are free. Dartshop.tv. We're in Portsmouth, the live lounge. 60. And it'd be blooming marvellous if you could come and join us. I even get to meet Duzza. We want the crowds 60. in, not out. <laughs> 100. Who's your favourite in this one? Because both have had good days. I shame may be unlucky with the results he's got. 100. Well, Mark McGinney, I would have said 10 minutes ago. Like I said, uh, O'Shea's not had the best of weeks. I've seen signs of real improvement 45. today. I'm going to stick my neck out and say O'Shea wins this game because it would be just nice for him to go to bed tonight on a positive. Because he's 100. not out of this competition, Henry. I mean, like I said, you know more than anybody. You've seen people absolutely implored on the stage on the Monday to Wednesday and, you know, get me home and then lift the trophy and the five grand prize on the Saturday night. 100. And I just feel, neat, you know, Tony needs the spark and wouldn't that spark be nice today? I think McGinney will go to bed and think, well, there was half an hour to an hour today where there was as good as ever. 100. And I just need that transition from that hour for the rest of the week. O'Shea, for me, just needs that spark. So, for me, an O'Shea victory here. All right, same with first poke in the first leg Keep against the darts, so leaving 1-4-1 one one after 12. And he's been doing this kind of all day. He's been leaving himself these sorts of finishes after about 12 darts, which 59. I'd say in this particular format is very much a par for the course performance. The Della. At 18. 98. 82 so is a you finish those dart players love. He'll be starting on the bullseye. What a dart that is. Great marker. Game shot Great the finish. First Tony the silver back. That's what it's all about. That's what he's done for 30, 40 years in this game. What he can't Second tell you about darts is no first. one's business. Game on. I unfairly called it the hors d'oeuvre. What would your star to be, Henry? What's your favourite? 60. Tell you what, do do like halloumi fries. That's a good starter. A modern answer, that. It's a very modern answer. That's a right Nando's now. answer, that, isn't it? All oh, good eateries. <laughs> tell you what, we must 96. take you over to that tapas place at one point over, over in the next adjoining town. That's a really, really nice bit of food. Tonight, Palsy Tell you what, last time you were down, we had we went to that. Hi. Oh, that I was unbelievable. I want to go back. That's the it's the best restaurant in, in one of the best restaurants in Portsmouth. I want to go back tonight. I'll tell you what, we'll do it. We'll do it in the evening. Yeah. We've got a couple of bits to do in the afternoon, but maybe in the evening we'll uh. Sounds good. We'll have a nice little bit of Thai. Sounds a plan. Shall we invite Owen as well? Definitely. I wouldn't go without Owen. One hundred and eighty. No. Our partner in crime. He's my hero. No sarcasm. Why are we going on nice a road trip with Owen on Saturday? 40 here. 100. Long drive home, unfortunately. 77. Saturday night. The plan is to get a sleep in on Saturday afternoon. I had my grandson on Sunday, and I can't wait to keep getting these videos of him from home. But needs must right now. So you're not joining Owen 60. on that road trip. It's only you require 139. I might go to the toy shop. I might see if Edgar's about. 
91. Mark to require 145. On 4 5 for Magini to obtain the break back with O'Shea lurking on 48. He's looking for the treble 15, which would have left him tops. And the kind 19. of week O'Shea has been having, Sony Henry. 5 48. I was thinking that treble 15 was going to go in there, but you're getting chances, Tony. Game shot on the second leg. Tony O'Shea. A little too late, and that's what he's saying to himself there. Where were you the past 14 games? But like I said, Tony. Third you need a spark for tomorrow. And Game a big, on. big win over your good friend here could just be that. And then you'll come back a wounded animal with your good friend Daryl Fitton. Mark McGinney will be there again. It's all to play for with Adam and Neil 55. Duff. I think tomorrow morning's going to be really good. I think we're going to see some excellent stuff. And you say it's a little too late in this group, but it's not 100. too late in the context of the week for Tony O'Shea because he'll look at this and think, I've got a clean slate tomorrow. In Group C, everybody's going to be back on zero points. And if he plays like this over the next couple of days, I'd expect O'Shea 100. to be back here on Saturday night. Wouldn't it be great? Watching Martin Adams last week. He's just getting better with age, aren't they? But 140. Both myself and Henry were watching each day Tony O'Shea practice. And we're like, today's the day for him because his throw is absolutely perfect. And he just that transition from the practice board. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes it 60. takes a couple of days to get going. Who knows how much practice he's been putting in? And maybe he needed these few days to get himself going, but you can see exactly what he thought of that first start. 85. Ironically, we had a watch this morning of O'Shea having a little bit of a practice, and it was the least amount of 180s you actually saw on that camera angle. He was having a long practice this morning on the stage with Adam Lipscomb. 100. And a little mini match between each other up on the stage. And the players do get the opportunity around right about an hour before play gets underway here at the Super Series just to have a you know, bit of a throw, just get a little bit of a feel for the conditions on the stage. Well, Tony's a great counter, so he'd be frustrated to see with that last 19 there to, to leave an awful finish of 99. 60. Tony, you require 99. Well, we'll be on the 19s to start. That leaves treble 18. I don't know if he's thinking so much now, is he? Oh, 51. Right, getting it wrong. No. Mark to require 126. 19s. And again. Mm. 86. Eight tops. Tony, you require 48. She checked 48. out on 48 once. You went eight tops last time, but I know he prefers the 16s. Game shot this on the third is so line. much better. Tony O'Shea. And look at and what he's saying to himself there is, why? Where have you been? Why leave it to the last game? Full thing, it's Tony to What I would first. say to you, Tony, is game use on. this as the statement piece that you were looking for, ready for your fight back tomorrow. 95. And these players, a lot of them have played in the Grand Slam of darts. Neil Dust played here many times before. They're accustomed to round robin format, so O'Shea will know the game when it comes to these types of events. And this is a long course. This is a marathon. I call this the test match of darts because you can't win it on day one. You can never win a test match on day 59. one. But you can either put yourself in a good position or bad position. Here on day three, he can put himself in a position here that when he comes towards the clean slate on Thursday and Friday, he's playing the sort of darts that gives him the opportunity to be in contention. 58. It'd be nice to commentate on a T20 style game of darts. I've heard some fantastic things by Paul Nicholson over the years. What they call the wrestling one, where they all come in one by one. WrestleMania. No, the, where they come in and they shot them over the ropes. And they all come in one every five minutes. Should... Royal Rumble. I think he's had a, like a Royal Rumble of darts. That would be interesting. 100. So, from Test Match Darts here at the Motor Super Series. To a Royal Rumble down in Portsmouth. I'll be honest, it's probably best if I stay out of that T20 commentary thing because it might get a little bit excitable. Speaking of wrestling, I did a. Did you ever say that with Dan Dawson and Matt Edgar, where we I had to name 20 wrestlers in, in 20 seconds, 30 seconds? And I got 19. The Paul Hardcastle. 100. Mark to require 135. Here is 
on the cusp of a win unless McGinney can take out the Hail Mary 135. Treble 15. He'll stay on treble 10. Not the end of the world. Good set up. Leaves a two data. 75. 75 is usually treble 17. For a fat 18. For the match tops. 55. Mark to require 55. Save the match. Two at tops. This is first dart of the game at a double. Tens. To stay in it. To stay alive. 45. And that's pulled inside. Tony required 20. Tony O'Shea for double 10. He doesn't like this side of the board as much. That's a good marker. Quick shift over. Just bounce it off that tungsten. No score. Mark to require 10. That was almighty unlucky. That is come off the barrel on the other side. And so McGinney double five. Can he squeeze it across? Can he find a path across? He's adjusted no too score. much. And he's bust the score, and so Shea is back Tony for double 20. 10. How on earth was that first out not in, Henry? It's double 10 for O'Shea again. Game shot. And, and the match. The tail of the tail was pretty O'Shea. simple there. Tony O'Shea with his first 4 0 victory of the week. And that could be just the moment he required. I think he'll look back with the thoughts that, well, the better the week got, the better Tony O'Shea got. Mark McGinney be thinking there was moments today where I began to show my best. Good.